Men, our top story tonight, they were frightened by a bear. That's what the three suspects accused of starting the Chateau fire told detectives after they left their campfire unattended. News 5's Andy Cohen following up for us tonight at 6 with more on how the fire started and the serious charges and fines these suspects face. Andy. And Rob and Elizabeth, they are all charged with felony arson. That's a class three crime, meaning they could face some prison time if they're convicted. Now, they told detectives that they had taken steps to put out that campfire before they left, but investigators found that the embers were still hot nearly two days later. Words of thanks line the roads of the High Chateau subdivision in Teller County, but Sheriff Mike Sultane is praising residents here for getting out so quickly when the evacuation was ordered. They did a very good job of being ready to go and move at a moment's notice. And that's really what saved my deputies, saved firefighters, and saved homes. The 1,400-acre Chateau fire burned for more than a week and destroyed multiple homes and cost millions of dollars to put out. 23-year-old David Renfro, 19-year-old Keegan Owens, and an unnamed 17-year-old were arrested for starting the fire. They're all charged with first-degree arson and face prison time, along with tens of thousands of dollars in fines for lighting a campfire that started it all. That's a lot, um, and this was all for one campfire. And that's, that's the, the point of running burn bans is so that we don't have this happen to our, our community. This is about as close as we can get to where this fire started. It was just over this ridge here and kind of down the hill. And basically the dry fuels and heavy winds caused it to spread in every direction. The suspects told investigators they were aware of the fire ban, but started the campfire in a stone ring anyway. They were planning to camp overnight, but decided to return to Colorado Springs after an encounter with a bear. They thought that the water and dirt they put on the campfire safely put it out. But those embers were still hot two days later. Anything that can create a spark or that can create an ignition point, just because of the way our grasses are and our trees right now, um, we're trying to protect from those things. That's why we're staying in a stage three fire ban. The sheriff is encouraging residents in Teller County to sign up for the Nixle Emergency Alert System. You can send a text message of your zip code to 888-777 to sign up on your phone, or you can do it online. We posted a link for you on the digital version of this story at the News 5 app. Robin Elizabeth. Andy, thanks.